so we're going to carry on with VP activities and um, two minutes speech. So to start us off is Joe Burt. I'm Joe Burt, I'm currently a media production student, um, I'm also president of the Surfing Society, and what I'm aiming to do is, uh, well, I believe in great participation, um, so everyone being involved in all sports and things, and one thing I feel like we're mainly lacking at the moment is um, these social sports, like my housemate Tom in first year, he was big in rugby, um, but he couldn't commit to it, because there was like socials, there was the training, there was also all the games and stuff, and what he wants to do, he just wants to play rugby and that's it, like, just once a week, something like that. Um, another thing is sports recognition. If I say Loughborough, what does everyone else say? Sports. Sports Union, yeah, straight away. We need to get that to Lincoln somehow, and one way to do this is uh, we can do it with like, photos and videos. If we photograph every game we ever do, it'll spread in between all of, all of the students together. We'll be recognising ourselves that's a really good university. Um, also volunteering. About two years ago, there was um, a program called RAC, Raising Gift, and um, a lot of people... Um, yeah, RAC. They, um, they gave money to students to start their own charity um, systems and stuff. Um, and that kind of died a little bit, but we kind of want to bring that back. And by... We wanted to, like, organise... Uh, buses and things to charity events with stuff like the Lincoln Rotary Club. Um, they hold a lot of charity events and we want to do that with the students for giving it back to the students more. That's it. Hi guys, my name is Josh Oriunu. Um, currently a master's student doing a marketing degree and I've graduated here um, also doing a management marketing degree. My time here has increased my awareness of certain things around the university and really increased my passion for the students and the student voice. Being at university is a place where you find yourself, you build your future and you have the best, life, time, best years of your life. However, everyone knows that can be very stressful and it can be hard for many. Groups and societies um, sports teams, all these things can help people build relationships, make friends, and enjoy themselves while they take the stress away from uni. I want to work closer, I want to work closer with sports societies, all the teams, all the groups, help them to like, make events, when they're making events, raising money, I want to be the person there by their side to help them every step of the way. I've had five years experience in events management, and this is what, this is what I study as well, so I believe that I'll be able to be there and support them and enable the awareness of all events to be very high around the university. Volunteering is very important in the university as well. I want to work with students, you know, to help them build projects, help them go out and serve the community, give Lincoln a good name, and also that's something that people can put on their CV to help them get a job. Employability is something obviously everyone's here. So, you know, go and get a job, but you want that extra edge on your CV. You want something that's extra, better than other people that are going for the same job. And, that, and also, you can have trans transferable skills that can then help you to you know, go and do that job well. Basically, another thing I want to do, international students, uh, diverse groups, when they come to Lincoln, it might be a bit, a bit hard for them. They might struggle with language barriers. There's a lot of things we don't know and I've researched and I've met a lot of international students that have come to this come to the country now and I've had to help them and that needs to be done more. Vote Josh number one VP activities, give the students what they want. Super Gario as your VP activities in the 2013 SU elections. It's time for the SU to go to the next level through more participation by you, the students, by more development from our societies, and by enabling our sports teams to represent us. For participation, we need to make letting you know about the weekly events the SU put on are more accessible. I understand your frustration when you realise the event you want to be a part of has slipped by and you didn't know anything about it. 
Therefore, I want to propose increasing marketing and the use of social media to let you know when these things are going on. To develop societies, I propose easier interaction and pushing joint events for them to become the best feature of societies. To do this, communication between societies should be easier than ever. Uh, via forums or Facebook groups made for the purpose of starting a dialogue between them. Not only that, but an increase in the development budget um, to reflect their bigger role in the SU. Sports should be allowed to be more active. With transports becoming a bigger issue every year, I propose the acquisition and maintenance of a number of minibuses used to get our teams where they need to be. Um, I also want to get sports and society sponsored more by local businesses in Lincoln at the CQs, <coughs> such as bars and nightclubs. Um, this is because the revenue streams that we could get from that kind of funding could go on kit, it could go on getting resources, it could go on again, transport. Um, a little bit about me then. Um, well, I'm a board of trustee member. I'm also vice chair of the Society's Council and a member of the uh, Society's Committee. I have represented Lincoln um, in sport uh, back in the old kind of crispy days. Um, so yeah, when voting comes, <laughs> Uh, think participation, think sports and societies, and vote Super Gario. Hello everyone, how is everyone today? Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, my name is Sarah, I'm a dance student, third year, I'm course representative, and I'm the social secretary for martial arts. Um, the main reason I wanted to run for this role was I wanted to make a difference and give back something to the university for supporting me over the last three years because I've had the best time ever in Lincoln. Uh, my main points are to maximise volunteering opportunities. I want to introduce a volunteering fair by which the whole university can come see what opportunities there are. Um, I also aim to create fundraising workshops so to help out sports society, more individual fundraising events within the university. And as Joe was saying earlier about the um, uh, uh, reintroducing the rags and raising gifts because I've spoken to a few students here the past few days and that's something that they're really passionate about reintroducing because they found over previous years that it's been a really good experience and something that's vital for their CVs etc. Um, I want to improve training and activities by enhancing participation levels. Um, I aim to introduce a trial activities week and increase social sport opportunities. Uh, when I first came to the university, the main events that you notice are the Freshers' Week, and I think this, my trial, um, my trial, um, yeah, skip over that. Um, I also aim to review financial limitations, and I think by the um, fundraising workshops that I'll provide will also help the sports and societies to do this. Um, to summarise, by enhancing social events, this will enable greater involvement in activities and volunteering by providing greater platforms for communication and participation. Um, I hope you share my enthusiasm for wanting to carry forward the strong sense of community we have here at the University of Lincoln. Vote for me, Sarah Sharma, I think you could do a really good job. about this university's progress into getting them into that top 50 mark and I believe that it's the societies and the sports that will make sure that you, the university gets there. When we come to university, yes, we all want to get a degree and it's really important that we do that, we do that well, but when we go to university, the societies, the people you meet in those sports and societies become your family. They're the people you meet, see every day. In my manifesto, I've highlighted four main things. Transport. Transport's a really big issue at this university, and I feel as though we need to get quotas from local uh, minibus hires to the university so we can work together with the university and the students of the university and the societies to make sure we've got appropriate transport to get you guys to where you want to go. There's no point saying I want to do society and you can't get there. No point. Um, the other thing I, want, I wanted to put in my manifesto, but I didn't have a chance to put it in, was courses. I want to get everyone access to a load of 
such as coaching courses, for example. Let's get in touch with your national body. For instance, if you do a sport, you, let's get in touch with your national sporting body. Let's try and get you access to courses, coaching courses, first aid courses. Um, I also, the biggest point I want in my... Right. The biggest point in my manifesto, I want to say I want to create a bond between sporting societies and non-sporting societies. I believe that together, if we unite under one union, we can work together and help create a much better environment for all our students. We can work together and all the sports societies would work much better that way. And varsity is the last thing, but time. <laughs> sports and societies. I've been involved um, in a number of different sports and societies and I absolutely love them. Uh, they've been a huge part of my university experience. And um, I want to tell you a really sad story. Aww. Aww. Um, I was in uh, courts with a few friends a few weeks ago and uh, these guys, they were talking about how bored they were at university. Now put your hand up if you're involved in a sports team. Is it awesome? Yes. Yeah. Put your hand up if you're involved in a society. Is it awesome? Yes. So both those things add to your student experience. Yes. Yeah. And they make it amazing, okay? Yes. These, these girls, they had never even heard of sports or society. They didn't know what they were. They didn't know how to get involved. And they were really bored. And I think that's really sad. Um, so I really want to work on, yes, improving bucks. Yes, improving varsity. Yes, improving communication. But most of all, Getting those people. You guys are all involved in sports and societies. You know that they're amazing. And we're all in this together, but those guys just don't get to be involved, do they? They're, they're sitting on the sidelines, not even being able to spectate because they don't know about these things. So for me, the main thing is to communicate that these guys, to these guys that there's so much going on. There's loads to be doing, there's loads to be involved in. And there's people that go home and they think, university is not that great because they're not involved, they're not involved in university life. And so I want to communicate to them that that is what they, the sports and societies are there for them, to get involved with, to enjoy. And I'm telling you now, and you can all agree with me, sports and societies make up so much of your student experience. You go home at the su in the summer and you're like, I can't wait to get back in September to come and play sport again, to come and get involved in my society. So vote for me. I'm all for a overall complete student engagement because we're all in this together. Thank you. Um, and so what I mean, wow. <laughs> that was 
question. I want to make a dialogue as well with students, like to have a survey where people come to me and talk to the appropriate contact with me, and also a, a, an open survey where we get loads of students together and you just throw ideas off each other. I think it's really important to get people talking um, and to get ideas passing around. Um, on the whole, we need to be engaging and supporting people. Lauren Good, who you'll meet later, and myself went around and spoke to students earlier, and there's a lot of people that are unhappy with the issue and unengaged in the issue, and that's what we're here for, so what the hell are we doing? Um, let's actually engage people, that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of work to do, but I want this to be the most successful year in the SU's history, so you know, let's make it happen, let's make it a year to remember. Thanks very much. We have uh, Molly Elizabeth Helen Smith. Okay, so I'm Molly, and my main aim will be to listen to individuals and groups and to take action on what you guys say. Now, to do that, I'm going to be making myself as approachable as possible. I'm not going to hide away in an office. Now, one of my policies is mental health services. So we've got the counselling service for the daytime, and I've helped make this little buddy system. However, things close, we don't have anything at night, which is when people feel they're most desperate. Now we've all felt stressed, we've all felt upset, and it would be brilliant if we had a student at the other end of the phone to support us. So what I propose is a nightline service. It's a bit like Samaritans. Um, it's also going to provide work experience, so that would be great. Um, also accommodation, so a lot of us have bad landlord problems. One of the things I want to do is open up a dialogue and put the problems to the people in charge. Talk to landlords, what are you going to do about this? Another problem is accommodation bullying. Now, a lot of people have suffered in silence and haven't told the university what's going on. Now, we do have support services out there to help people. We just need to advertise it more. So I want to advertise in accommodations and all around the universities. Nobody has to suffer in silence anymore. Also, the LGBT group, they've been fantastic. However, they've been asking for a specific money system. I want to be the person to put this in place. I've got experience doing this. I help create the buddy system at the moment. With that, I think it would be brilliant if we put an all online stories page on. So, hello, um, an online stories page on, so that people can have a little read about other people's experiences coming out and other LGBT issues too. Also, DART students. There's 10% of the university are DART students. And we don't have a big voice. We don't even know each other. So what we need to do is hold meetings and find out what the DART students need and put it to the service. Also, more cultural and religious events to represent students and bring us together. A quality, empathy experience. Very Molly number one. Thank you. Hello, um, thanks all for coming. Um, I just want to talk quickly. Last year I was a criminology... Oh, sorry. Start again. Last year I was a representative for my course, so I have experience representing your views. I will support everyone, no matter what group they're a part of. I want to make sure the health centre has enough staff to provide adequate appointments, and that appointments are based on the severity of the case, and not on a first-come, first-served basis. The university currently has a sports scholarship. I want to work with big business to provide academic scholarships. I want to increase the bursary available to students based on their household income. With the price of living constantly increasing and students now paying extortionate tuition fees, I believe the university must pay a higher bursary. I will work with local businesses and charities to promote course-related trips, which will in turn improve employability. I will strengthen the university community by working with all groups, no matter what their needs, and not singling out a single group as being more important than another. I will make sure that charity awareness events are easy to hold, and I will make sure it's easy for any group to reach out and educate other groups about what it is like to be a member of that group. A vote for me is a serious vote for a better university for everyone. Thank you. First off, Irish Brian, number one for welfare and community, please. 
Um, I want to reform accommodation completely. People complain year after year after year, nothing ever changes. I think things have to change. Have student experience, have the student input included in the committee that approves and accredits accommodation providers, not just the physical structure of the building. I want to improve employability through running student-led projects, getting kids in during half-term holidays when uni is still on, get the students to run workshops using their specialisms, their skills, their passions, sharing that, learning new skills by teaching, by engaging with other people, and that, at the end of the day, a degree isn't enough anymore, you need more skills, and I think this is a great way to engage with the community and build up skills and get the university name out there. I want to combat student lifestyle and poor choices, it could be addictions, a lot of people don't talk about addictions, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, anything really, caffeine even, um, there's not much I talk about that. I want to open up dialogue, make awareness of the services available to students. Um, I want counselling training for all of the full-time officers. Currently, if you go to um, welfare, for example, you say I've got a real a big problem with this, you know, I'm being picked on or whatever, they can't offer advice, they're not qualified, they have to pass you on. Rather than being passed on, you should be able to come straight here, get at least a basic level of counselling, and then if need be, we're being referred on for, for further um, counselling. Just, I'll be there for you is my tagline. I want to celebrate culture and diversity. We've got so many people from different backgrounds, different places. We've had um, Chinese New Year celebrations, Eid, stuff like that. Have that for every country, every nationality. Everyone should be represented equally. And I would like, uh, talking to people even just today, I realise there's absolutely zero support for students who commute into the university. They really struggle, they have no representation currently. I want to set up a group similar to you, maths, LGBT, etc., for commuting students who have to come in at 9, 9 a.m., hang around until 5 p.m. Um, so basically, I may not be a woman, I may not have a womb, but I will bring new births to this university. We vote number one for the economic affairs. Three simple reasons. First problem I found when I talked to a lot of students about this position is they, they said to me, some of us, we don't know who our reps are. I don't know how to get in contact with my rep if I need them. Right? That's the first thing I want to do, representation. Make sure everyone knows how to get in contact with their rep, how to actually talk to their rep, and where their rep's going to be if they need to get them. Right? Doing that means that you can actually be represented by the people who are meant to be looking after your interests. Right? Second point. Employability. The university does hold a lot of events that do help your employability. We have the Lincoln Award, we have a lot of different programs that will help you. However, students don't have access to these things or they don't get reached in time to be able to actually make use of these facilities. That, what I want to do is effectively market it better. Communicate with students, communicate with different groups to make sure that we get all these events out and make sure everyone knows exactly how to reach these kind of things. Making you better. Finally, Hard to reach students, postgrads, mature students, and international students. I want to make sure that the student union reaches out to them more. Because talking to some international students, they feel like they're not really part of the union. They feel like the student union isn't really for them. I want to make sure that every student feels like they're part of the student union and every student feels included in this. Just to make sure that we're all one community. So, I mean, those are my three basic points. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be the, a good person for the job. I've had a lot of experience representing people, president of the ACS last year, and this year I'm the corporate relations executive for Enactus. Basically, everything I do is about representing people. It's about representing people's interests, and it's about making sure that I do the best job for the people that I'm representing. Right? So vote Ian, number one, for VP Academic Affairs. <laughs> I'm currently College of Social Science Rep. Um, there's three main points, like Ian, that I want to discuss, and they are uh, careers, representation, and feedback. For many years, National Student Survey, which is a survey you fill in when you're third year, talked about the whole experience of university. The problem that has come across the board for the university has been feedback. Quiet. Feedback and how um, staff actually give students what they want. Oh, thank you. That's a lot of um, So, uh, the problem with feedback at the moment is that the staff don't know what students want. It's come across all schools that's something that needs to change within the schools, get a document going, something really simple at first, 
to make sure that they are doing what the students want. Um, secondly, of course, is the feedback between staff and students and student reps. There is a problem with closing that loop, and you can, we can maybe develop the current SMS feedback that's been developed into incorporate that, or use a blog or social networking system. And um, with careers, there's a, a, a noticeable lack by the, and that has been noticed by the university of resources. They know they need more staff. And the only way to get what students want, which is more varied careers, is by having that resources expanded, um, which is something I really want to push for. Um, yeah, and the reason why I want to be why I would be good at this role is because for the past three years I have been involved in the course representation system. Um, over this past year, I have been involved in things like the library steering group for the new extension that's being built, been in student experience for two years, um, college representative this year, school representative last year, course representative before, and I am president of society, so I know how to represent people that come to me and I know how to go out to people and sort or go to. So yeah, Fo Wesley is the number one big guest in first. how much of an issue it is at the university. Um, my first point is about careers. Like when uh, Lindsay said, it's a massive issue, the fact that there are three major career advisors split between three colleges, just not enough. You end up waiting a month for a leap, like minimum for an appointment, and by that time, you could have changed your idea about what you want to do about five times. I know I certainly have. Um, my second point is about the library. Um, although it has improved so much in the past year, especially with the 24-7 Thing coming back in so much better. There's an issue with core textbooks, and that is the fact that you go and the book hoggers have nicked them, and you're kind of left like, oh god, what do I do? Request, request, request. So I think we should have resource only textbooks so that they never leave the library. You can go and uh, you can still like know that although it's not on the shelf, it's somewhere in the library. And we should introduce a trade in system so that you can get money back for books that you don't need anymore. And it also means that the library get more textbooks. That's surely a good thing. Um, my third thing is about representation. Uh, like, like Scott said before, we went around courts and we were chatting to lots of people, and um, it was amazing um, the amount of people who were like saying, oh yeah, I'm going to live at home next year, I don't have a voice, I'm terrified. And I have lived at home for the past few years, and I can say that unless I pushed myself, like, I, I wouldn't have a voice. We don't have representation at all. And mature students feel like they are under the radar because people don't approach them. We did that survey for the students union to say how we'll be doing and stuff. And mature students said that no one approached them. They just didn't approach them because they didn't think they were students. That's not right at all. And um, my last point is related to feedback as well. Um, turnaround time, well, it, I know on my course we're supposed to get back within three weeks, but a lot of people come to me and say, it's been like two months and I don't know what if my feedback is. That should change. Uh, so yeah, vote, vote for Lauren Good, number one academic affairs. <laughs>
I also want to get the SU more involved in the community. A community as diverse as Lincoln with loads of students and loads of non-students, I think it's really important to strengthen those links between the two. I think that by getting more involved with already existing charities such as Lion Clubs and Rotary, can, who normally have a quite older population, are really keen to get younger people like us involved. And I think by doing that we can make Lincoln a much stronger place to live in together. I, if you don't remember anything today at all, just remember that I will guarantee to you that if you vote Joe Hartley today, you're number one for SU president. You will not regret it. Think smartly, join Hartley's party, and please vote me your number one for president. Here. <laughs> Daniel Sad, I'm an extra ridiculous name on the bottom of it. What can I do? Um, yeah, so I'm here today as your number one candidate to be Student Union President. I'm a current Vice President of Activities, and what I've noticed from the year in office is that the union itself is very sports and societies focused. Everyone's been asking me, right, Dan, why aren't you rerunning for VP Activities? Why don't you just do the role that you so love? The reason to that is, is that our union is heavily focused on one niche of students. There are a third of the population in sports and society, it's absolutely fantastic. But what about the home student? What about the postgraduate student? What about the international student? What about the Erasmus student? All of these people need to be represented. I am that person to represent those people. I am that person to go out there and talk to the people who really care about their student opinion. The student opinion is so important. Go to a university board. They don't care about what I think. My, my opinions are irrelevant. I might be a fascist. I might be a conservative. That's irrelevant. What you care about is what's most important. These guys might say blah, 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 but I'm going to come up with specific motions, policies, and procedures that will benefit you day in, day out. I don't care about the faffy business, I don't care about the gimmicks, I don't care about any of these complicated issues. What I care about is your opinion, your voice, day in, day out. I didn't write this, I'm speaking literally from my heart. I'm not even, I'm talking back here. Literally, literally, I am your voice. Nothing more, nothing less. All the complicated issues the union staff can deal with, I'm here to represent your voice, I'll bring the union to you. Vote me number one. President. So, why vote for me, I hear you ask? Why? I said, why vote for me, I hear you ask? Why? Because who better, who better suited than the man in the suit? I'm not in cahoots with thugs, I'm as sweet as mud. I'm your perfect chap for the president. Gentlemanly, friendly, there's no pretense. So voting for me, you know it makes sense. Now, if you want to pick a library, I'm the guy that you need. Well read in all histories and philosophies. This quest for knowledge is one to which I hope you aspire, whether it's a degree or a master's or something a little bit higher. So let me spit this rap and I'll settle the score and tell you why you need me more. <laughs> you see, I'm the type of bloke to take you down to the pub where we can sip an English bitter or tea from a mug. And if you want a cheaper place to drink, then I can help you with that, or at least I think. Or even if you're not the sort to go out clubbing, I'll do all that I can just to help you study. So tell me your queries, I'll calm your qualms. I won't tell any lies, I won't spin any yarns. Just vote for Chris. Put a tick in that box, because I'm the best suited man to succeed Janine Fox. Thank you.